Hello, today I am going to explain to you and show you the differences between a twin tube shock absorber versus the Bilstein monotube gas pressure shock and give you an explanation as to why the shock absorber will be a great advantage to your motorhome. I'm going to start with talking about the twin tube design. A twin tube shock absorber was designed back in the 1930s. It's actually two tubes for the twin tube design. So you have the outer reservoir and then you actually have the working cylinder of the shock absorber. Inside the working cylinder of the shock absorber you have hydraulic fluid. So the whole design for a twin tube is as the piston cycles it's like sticking your hand in a pail of water. It's got to go somewhere. So this piston cycles, the hydraulic fluid comes through a foot valve at the base of the shock absorber into this outer reservoir and then as it cycles back it brings that hydraulic fluid back with you. With a twin tube design you constantly have that cycling so you get a displacement of fluid to that outer reservoir and eventually the foot valves and mechanicals of the shock absorber fail and that, sh that hydraulic fluid doesn't make its way back in. With a monotube gas pressure design you have a one tube, monotube. You have hydraulic fluid and then you have a floating piston and then you have nitrogen gas pressure that's on the other side of the floating piston. You still have that hand in the pail of water concept when that piston is a working piston is cycling. So this floating piston will compensate for that and move right along with it. This allows for all the hydraulic fluid to stay contained within that one cylinder and allows for you to have a consistent stable environment. With this stable environment, the engineers can go in and with their piston, which has 33 patents on it, that they can go in and finitely tune that shock absorber to your motor home uh, and make it ride like a dream. If you do not have pressure on the shock, it's very similar to if pressurizing a, a pop or something of that nature. If you do not have pressure on the shock absorber, that shock absorber will start to create a foam. Just like with a pop, as soon as you open the can, it foams up. If you do not have pressure on the shock absorber, it will foam up as well. With a twin tube design, you cannot put pressure on the shock. If there is gas involved, they charge it. So what happens is, is this foam, the shock starts to foam up without the pressure. And as this foam, you start to see cavitation. Along with that, because this twin tube design, the outer reservoir, the actual working cylinders on the inside, the shock absorber doesn't get any ambient air to the actual working cylinder, so it has a tendency to get hotter. And as it drives down the road, that shock, the valving will change because the oil is getting thinner from being so hot, and it will start to fade as you go down the road. So as you're driving the first 25 miles, it will ride one way. As you get 100 miles down the road, 200 miles down the road, that shock will start to change. So you get shock fade. With a Bilstein, once you pressurize the shock absorber, you can create that stable column of fluid. Now we're back to that stable column of fluid that will be there for the life of the shock absorber. This is a huge advantage because your valving will never change. Whatever was designed to be valved in that shock absorber will stay for the life of that shock absorber. The other great advantage of a monotube versus a twin tube design is that when you look at these two shock absorbers, they look very similar in size, but when you look at what's actually doing the work in the shock absorber, the Bilstein shock absorber is considerably larger. It's up to 220% larger piston in a Bilstein 46 millimeter technology shock absorber versus a twin tube design shock absorber. And when we're talking about dampening the suspensions on these motorhomes, the size and the volume of the hydraulic fluid, the shock is a damper. So it's designed to damper the suspension. So the more shock volume you have, the better off you are. So those are the major differences. As a matter of fact, 
you'd look at these two shock absorbers and you would assume that this is a much larger shock than this. But when you actually take and break it down and look at the working cylinder, a Bilstein shock is 46 millimeter technology is larger than this shock as well. And on certain applications, there is a 60 millimeter technology. And with that 60 millimeter technology, now you're talking about a shock that is just that much larger and can do that much more for your chassis. And, we're, and it works a lot easier to do it. So those are the major differences between a monotube gas pressure Bilstein shock and a twin tube design shock absorber. I hope this gives you a good understanding of the differences between the monotube gas pressure design and the twin tube shock absorber design. This is the reason why the monotube gas pressure shock is so highly sought after in the racing industry and the luxury and high performance automotive industry along with the motorhome market. Thank you and have a good day.